Tom Booth, go ahead, open up, and thank you for your patience. Please share with us. Okay, uh, I guess you can hear me. Yeah, I do like the uh, direction of this, uh, you know, this AMA. And uh, I was just looking up in my Tradex Mastery. It looks like my winning trades are 65.12%, losing trades 34.88%. Uh, about half of those are better, I don't know exactly, are just following the tap to trade guys. Right. And now a lot of times, maybe closing out early, if I see I'm in a win, I close out early. And I'm not waiting, you know, you know, right. a couple of wins, like 12 cents. So, you know, you take whatever. But um, a couple of times I thought like I'd heard, uh, I don't know who it was that said they, I think it was Josh, that he decided to trade against the trader. They were doing a sale, so he went on a buy. So I started doing that sometimes. And as soon as I'd see it turn around, I close it out. And so I, I did win a couple of, you know, Man, you're, 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 you're more of a risk taker than I am. I'm like, I, I, that, that well, sounds like Josh Wagle. Find out what everybody else is doing and do the exact opposite. That's Josh Wagle. Totally. Well, sometimes that's a good, that's a good thing in life too. Just look around you and like, they're doing this, I'm doing that. Cause I'm not yeah. following that group, but I, I thought I'd experiment with that. Then a couple of times I even just went on, to the uh, the trade locker and just picked out like uh, a trade and bought or sold just to see where it would go and a couple of those you know went up a little bit and then I got out and a couple of went down somewhat I had one went down ninety two dollars definitely I and that was fast I think that was a job ed trade and it was they went, <laughs> it went down and I. I ran like hell. <laughs> so, yeah. You know. but wasn't, wasn't it, Dwight, I don't know if you guys watch The Office, but isn't it Dwight, Sh uh, Sh what is his name? I don't, I don't watch the show, but who is it? Dwight Schwalt or whatever his name is. Oh, from I know who he is, yeah. Brood, yeah, or whatever. And he was the one that said that there's a classic video of him going, he goes, everybody asks me why I my life is the way it is. And he says, I very simply watch what stupid people do, and I don't do that. <laughs> That's a good starting point. And, uh... and, and I remember hearing that years ago, years ago with Jim Rowan. Jim Rowan says, hey, he says, if you know people that are struggling, if you got a friend or a relative or even someone that you know that's really struggling, he goes, you should take them out for coffee or take them out for lunch. And then just ask them, what are all the things that you're currently doing so you know to stop doing that? <laughs> and he said, he said, now don't get mad when you find a bunch of people that are not doing good and you ask them how they make money and they go, well, I make, I make money like everybody else. Get, I get a job. And he's going, he's going oh, really? You know, maybe maybe I should do something else. And he says, it's just a, something in your mind to say, wow, everyone that I know that is struggling right now, the economy's going up, everything's going up, but their income's not going up. You know what I mean? So it just, it's, it, I'm pretty simple person. <laughs> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, hey, so Tom, thank you so much for sharing that. I really, really appreciate that. Yeah, I, just one other thing. I, I think this week I'll be really following those Joel areas, um, all of those videos, because uh, I, I had a little, got over my fear of doing a Kajix. Now it's time to learn something. Yeah, I, I just love how it totally makes you aware of, of your thoughts and who you are. Like me and Craig were talking about. It's like, you know, we got into a couple of tap and trades and now we're below 50,000, you know, our, where our account was. And the immediate thought is, okay, I just need to stop trading. Well, that that's that's not the answer. <laughs> but it did freeze Craig and I enough to think, okay, uh, I'm gonna watch those videos and and you know, and I love that, you know, Arthur in one of our inner circles, I think, our imaginators. And I just jokingly said to Arthur, I said, wow, you passed phase one, phase two. You're going to probably go, you're going to be funded next week. I said, what would I have to pay you, Arthur, to <laughs> pass the challenge for me? And he goes, watch the videos. And I'm going like, damn it. That's like the first time that it switched on me. You know what I mean? I'm going, because <laughs> everybody wants to know what to do, but they, 
they they won't well, make, make learning from an expert a priority. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we've got to learn. So yeah, yeah. And so you would think that you would do that first. You know, well, like... <laughs> it's like it's like it's like directions. Well, I'm gonna put this thing together. Well, I better get the directions out because I really messed it up. <laughs> yeah, so. it's like it's like uh that commercial with IKEA where you know uh the guy put the table together and 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 his <laughs> wife picked up a bunch of screws and went, Where do these all go? And it's like <laughs> <laughs> We've done that. And uh, hey, a shout out to all the people on, you know, like uh, Joshua and, um, you know, Arthur and the others. Uh, and, and great, uh, great stories there. So, yeah, it really, I, again, um, I don't know if it'll happen for all people, but man, when I see other people winning, I just, I just, man, it just excites me. And they don't have to be in my group 